Okay, the portrait quilt is all basted up and ready. There it is, basted, trimmed, and ready to go into the quilting machine. Hold on for your ride. But before I can throw my ugly mug back in front of the screen and uh, tell you what I'm gonna do, for, I wanna talk a moment about my setup on this machine. So check this out. Before I can set the camera down, look at this. I have acquired huge sheets of Teflon through some experimenting phases. All of this, it's Teflon coating. So I've got an extra smooth work surface to the left and behind my sewing machine. And that's gonna really help things work smoothly for me. Okay, ready for some close-ups on some detail stuff? Here we go. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up on the machine and I wanna share with you a few things that I love. First and foremost, I love to be able to see. So the bendy bright light, and yeah, sure, I guess you could buy any of this stuff off my website, robappel.com. Bendy bright light, watch how much light that adds. Oh my goodness, it's blinding, I love it. Okay, also, the sewing machine I'm using is a standard machine that is a straight stitch only machine. So I have basically taken and removed my regular stitch plate and put in an extra thick stitch plate which is going to simply cover my feed dogs. My machine, the feed dogs do not drop and if I didn't use it for fixing heavy things like boat covers and wetsuits and things like that, I'd just pull the darn feed dogs out. It's only a couple screws. But I use the machine as you saw me earlier putting um, you know, even borders on quilts and things. Obviously, I have several other sewing machines, but this is one of my very, very favorites. I've loaded up extra bobbins. There's a full one in the machine. I got another full one ready to go here. I put in a fresh needle every time I start my quilt. I put in a fresh needle, always. Then I use the needle until it dies or until I start another quilt. But I always start with a fresh needle. Some nice curved pins for getting in here and trimming those threads as I'm working, getting those jump stitches up and out of the way. I have replaced my standard sewing foot with this super cool um, this is a non-hopping free motion machine quilting foot. Let's go in for a close-up, which means I'm gonna bump the tripod a few times, getting you nice and close here. Now look at this, when this comes down, I can adjust this barrel on this foot to give the exact amount of pressure I want downward on my quilt based on the thickness of the quilt. Super, super cool foot. Takes a little getting used to, but this is not gonna hop and down, up and down with a needle stroke. This is gonna simply sit right where it belongs. And then, Last and absolutely not least, check this out, the sew slip mat. This is a Teflon coating for the bed of my machine. It had a single hole pre-cut in here that's going to line up right over the hole in my needle plate, right below my needle on my sewing foot. And this here is gonna stick. It's a silicone on the back. Now, because I have Teflon all around it, sometimes I'll put a piece of blue painter's tape along the edge so I don't curl it. But this piece right here is going to go ahead and give extra slippery surface all around my machine, fill any gaps in my cabinet, whatever I have going on here. So, Teflon on the top, silicone on the back so it just holds. Okay, so now I'm ready to quilt. Oh, sorry, headphones. Okay, so now I'm ready to do the quilting. Couple last things I do. Machine gears glove, sticky, sticky fingers. I've got my ice skating rink below me. Quilt is under the needle. Deep breath. Time to put on my very favorite music. I actually like to quilt to jazz, believe it or not, because it's got a lot of movement to it. doesn't have a lot of words to listen to. I can just get involved. Sometimes a little reggae, fast moving reggae is called ska. That's a fun one too. But anyways, a little jazz for me tonight. I think it was what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna show you real quickly and then I'm gonna tune out and quilt this thing. I'm going to go ahead and very nicely bring up my bobbin thread and I'm going to tie a couple of more stitches right there just to lock in that stitch and then I'm going to ever so nicely start to work around the very edge of the applique, taking it nice and slow, checking a little tension here. I can see I got a little bit of bobbin thread coming up to the top so I'm going to loosen my needle tension or my top tension until I get it just the way I want it. Oh, that's looking pretty nice. Couple more clicks to the loosening as I go. And are you ready to tune in? I'm gonna bring you in nice and close so you can watch the action, and I will see you all later. Thanks so much for watching me make this quilt. It's been an absolute blast. I'm glad you can check it all out. Stay tuned for more videos down the road. Good night.